Hi guys, I'm gonna do a little, um, just a little cooking today. I have these bangers from Wagmans and they scan at, oh, there's a shadow, sorry. These things scan at five points each and there are six of them in here. So I'm going to make two different meals with these using three in each one and hopefully get three servings out of each one. And all the other ingredients in the dish will be zero points. So if you just have one link plus the vegetables made with it, it will be a five point meal, which I think is perfect for lunch or dinner. It's actually kind of low for lunch or dinner. Um, so I've had these in the freezer for a long time, probably since the beginning of the year. I had a lot of meat in my freezer that were high point meats before I joined Weight Watchers. And it was because I didn't use them because I was afraid of high pointed meats. I didn't want to use them at all. But lately, recently, I've been eating through all of the meats in the freezer. I've just been taking them out and making meals with many portions so that I could have low portion, low pointed meals with the high pointed meats. And I defrosted this, I bought it for my daughter because I was gonna make bangers and mash for her, but I'm not gonna do that now because I'm on Weight Watchers and I don't want bangers and mash. And we don't even know if we're gonna like this. It says 8% breadcrumbs. This is an Irish sausage made with pork spices, perfect for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, no MSG handcrafted from New York's Finger Lakes. Anyway, I thought I would brown these up in the frying pan first just to get some color on them because you know if you get some color on them there's going to be some flavor. And the other ingredients, I sliced a large onion and I'm going to put half of the onion in each dish. One dish is going to have some sauerkraut. This is a small can and I'm going to not only drain it, but I'm also going to rinse it. And it's going to have these sliced carrots in it. These uh, carrot chips do not take as long to cook because of how thin they are. So it's going to be three of these links plus the onion, the sauerkraut, and the carrots. And then the other three links are going to be cooked with the other half of this onion, some cauliflower florets, as many as I feel I need, and I have these leftover veggies from uh, the day before yesterday from, where did we go, Texas Roadhouse. These baby carrots, they, they came fresh from the bag and they were thrown into some boiling water for maybe, maybe two minutes. They were so raw, I couldn't eat them, and the broccoli, even though the color is nice, I really, it was still kind of crispy, so I just didn't eat them. I asked for a, bag, a box to put them in right away. And um, so I'm gonna put the carrots in right away when I'm making this part of the dish, and the broccoli I'll toss in at the last minute, but the carrots and the, um, the cauliflower will go in first because they'll take longer to cook. And I do have some fat-free reduced sodium chicken broth to use to keep everything moist as it's cooking. And I'm just making this up as I go along. I'm just trying to figure out how to use the meats in my freezer along with what I have elsewhere in the house. And these are the two dishes I came up with to make as good a use as possible out of this meat. So I'll be back as soon as I can get these in the pan. I went ahead and turned the uh, fan off really quick to, uh, so you can hear me. I have really nice color with these onions and I forgot to tell you that I wanted to add some peppers. So I took my bag of frozen pepper strips and uh, just pulled some out without the onions. And I have to divvy this up into two things. Hold on a second. Girl, knock it off. There's all kinds of noise going on upstairs. But you see I've got a lot of color on the bottom of the pan. I want to get it up. So I'm gonna add a little chicken broth to clean that up because that's a lot of flavor. Gracie Lou, go lay down. And I'm just gonna turn this off because it is done. And I have the, I wanted to really cook up those raw 
sausages. So I've got them cooking in a little water and then I'm going to brown them and then divvy them up between two pans. And I'm gonna divvy these up into two pans right now. So I'll be back in a little bit. All right, it looks like things are done or pretty much done. This one here has the sauerkraut, the carrot chips, and the onions and peppers. And when I cooked the onions and peppers all together in the frying pan, I used Trader Joe's um, 21 seasoning salute in all of it. So both dishes have it. But because there's sauerkraut in here, I also added some celery seed because I just love the, the celery seed with the sauerkraut. This dish is done. I'm going to make six, three meals out of this. Divvy up the vegetables with the three links. And that's probably one of them that I'm gonna have for dinner tonight. And I'm gonna share one with my mother because this is right up her alley too. And let's trade places. And turn this one off. Now this one, I'm gonna cook it just a little while longer, but it's basically done. It has the cauliflower and the carrots in, and the onions and the peppers, and this is, yes, I colored it at the restaurant with the crayons they provide. Uh, this is the broccoli, and because it's already pretty much done, I'm just waiting till the last second to add it. There's only, you know, a couple little pieces in it. It's just nothing much. But I'm going to go ahead and um, just heat this through and then again, I'm gonna reduce the liquid. There's a little too much. And then I'm gonna go ahead and plate this into three dishes as well. I'm looking forward to that. So this is two dishes, six meals out of one pack of sausage links. That will be five points for each dish. And if I feel like it's not quite a big enough meal, I will just add a salad because these days, I am trying really hard to eat a lot more salads because I need it. All right, so I hope you enjoy these dishes. I hope you give them a try with whatever sausages you have on hand or meat in general. Don't be afraid to eat pointed meat like I was. Um, just figure out a way to incorporate it into your points for the day and uh, you can enjoy tastier meals. So until I see you again, be blessed.